Do all men really expect sex on a first date? Let's talk about that. Well, a couple years ago, I got an email from a woman and here's what she said. Hi, Sandy, I recently put myself out there in the dating scene following the death of my partner. I keep hearing conflicting advice regarding men's expectations on the first date. I'm a very youthful looking 68 year old woman. I grew up in the 50s and 60s with high values. I did not believe in sex on first or even second, third or fourth dates. I am now told that men expect sex on the first date and that I shouldn't be shocked by that and it no longer holds the same stigma that it once did. What has happened to our values or is it just me? I'd like to hear your thoughts and what men have to say on this subject. I'd like to know men's opinions on the respect aspect now that we are of age. Should I throw my holding myself in high regard out the window? Melanie. All right, so Melanie, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. It can't be easy to lose your partner. Yet you're out there dating again, and I give you a lot of credit for that. A lot of people do not go out and date again. They take a really long time to get back in the saddle and you're out there and things have changed. I understand your concern about men wanting sex right away, whether it's on a first date, a second, third date. This is a subject that comes up a lot. I've spoken to men and women about their points of view and I'm going to share them before I share my own opinion on this hot topic. First, let's talk about what women think about sex on a first date or early on. And I wanna first say there is no right or wrong when it comes to the timing of sex. It is a personal decision and you have to make sure you can live with the consequences of your decision. That being said, there are women who want sex on a first or second or third date. Many of these women are just getting out of a marriage or a long-term long -term relationship, and they just want to have sex. Sometimes they haven't had sex in a long time. They're experimenting. They're having fun, and that's great. That's totally fine. The women I've worked with want a long-term relationship. That's why they come to me. They want to be respected and cherished by the men they're dating. And those women usually hold off on having sex right away because it hasn't worked well for them in the past. Why doesn't it work? Because hormones. They developed feelings right away, even though they thought that they could be a little detached. And it's almost impossible not to bond because we have hormones like oxytocin that get released during sex. I have had clients come to me and say, you know, I'm totally fine with casual sex. I just met this guy. I'll be fine. And then they are devastated the next day when he doesn't call. And it's just a one night stand when they thought there was so much potential. So women and men are chemically wired very differently. When women have this oxytocin, men have some bonding hormones too, but they also release testosterone during sex which actually can make him less interested or attracted after he has sex. It's this crazy thing. So some one night stands do turn into long-term relationships and marriage, but for women who don't want to take that chance and for women who have been devastated in the past, have sex when you are emotionally and physically ready. And again, it's different for all of us. Now I'm gonna talk about what men think about sex on a first date. I've talked to many men and they have told me that they almost always think about sex on a first date. They may not act upon it, they may not say anything to their date, but they are either attracted and thinking about what it would be like to sleep with that woman or not. If they're not attracted, they will not ask her out again. If they are attracted, they'll probably want to get sexual pretty quickly, most men. That doesn't make men bad. It doesn't mean they lack good values. It makes men, men. <laughs> they are acting on their attraction while women often want more of a commitment before sleeping with a man. 
So it doesn't mean they're bad or wrong. It just means that they are attracted and they want what they want. Now let me share what I think about sex on a first date. I believe, again, you need to know who you are, how you attach, and what works best for you. If you know that you develop feelings as soon as you have sex, it's really important for you to set clear standards for what works for you before you get involved in a relationship. You know what your boundaries are when it comes to sex and physical intimacy, and then it will be much easier for you to speak up and let men know without being harsh, without being dismissive or turning him away. Often what we do is like, stop, no, you're moving too fast. And that to me is not the right way to state your boundaries because a man may want sex right away, but that doesn't mean you have to give in to what he wants. My general principle about sex early on is if you know yourself and how you attach and have built a level of trust and intimacy in other ways, it's okay to become sexually active when and if you feel ready. For some women, that's right away and it's worked. For other women, it's not right away, it hasn't worked. So be clear with the men you date about what you want and need to feel safe before having sex. If a guy is moving too fast for you, don't automatically discount him or label him as some kind of sex crazy animal. He's attracted to you and he wants what he wants. You want what you want too. So if you like him and you're attracted to him, let him know. Then get clear with him about what works for you. You can use a script like this one. Let's say his name is Bob. Hey, Bob, there's a part of me that would love to sleep with you right now, but that's never worked out for me in the past. I need to be in an exclusive relationship before sex. If and when that day comes, you're going to be in for the night of your life. <laughs> so you can use a little humor. You can say, hey, I am attracted to you. Uh, there's a part of me that would just love to sleep with you. That's letting him know that I would, you know, I'm attracted. I am interested. The reason a lot of men get shut down and walk away is because women don't give any indication that there is some timeline for them, that, that sex might be in their future. And if they have to wait forever, they'll move on to somebody who's going to be much more open to having sex one day. So here you are saying, hey, I like you, I'm attracted to you, but it doesn't work for me to sleep with you right now. I need to be exclusive. And you're not saying, let's be exclusive now. You're saying, if and when that day comes, you're going to be in the, for the night of your life. Like, it's going to be amazing, right? So a little humor, a little flirtiness, instead of going, no, slow down. The bottom line is that men may want sex right away, and perhaps they're more urgent or vocal about it than you are. But unless they try to force you to have sex, which is an absolute red flag, deal breaker, walk away, they are not bad people. They are simply men who want what they want. So if you're attracted, let them know and express your standards with kindness and with warmth. And the right man is going to wait for you to be ready to sleep with him. <laughs>